Hey everybody, it's Dr. Greg Rose at OnBase University. Today I want to talk about something that I hear all the time, and that is my problems in my shoulder or my hand, and sometimes it's not the shoulder or the hand. And for example, I want to talk about pitching. We have an inhibitor or a characteristic we talk about called late rise. And you can see I got two MLB pitchers up here from the past, and I got, I got uh, them both at, at foot touch. So when their stride leg first touches the ground. And you're going to see two types of animals. You're going to see one where the hand or the ball, the throwing hand, is not above the elbow line of the throwing elbow, or you're going to see one where the hand is above the throwing elbow line. So in other words, I take my pitcher to foot touch. I draw a horizontal line through their elbow, and I look to see, is the hand below the line or above the line? Most pitchers, the hand's going to be above the line at foot touch. If the hand's still below the line, we call that late rise. Now that, again, you're going to see this in Little League, you're going to see this in Major Leagues. The reason we're talking about it is because a lot of people use this as an indicator of potential stress to the elbow. That, that's been shown to potentially create more torque on the elbow and potentially lead to things like Tommy John surgeries, right? So this is something that I think a lot of coaches might want to look at and work on to try and prevent. Now, we can talk about all the reasons why that creates torque, but that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the cause of this. A lot of times people say, well, it's just, it's an arm problem. It's a shoulder problem. It's a, they, they, they can't rotate, they can't do something with their arm. I just don't want you to forget that some of the most common causes of upper body problems have nothing to do with the upper body. They actually have something to do with the lower body. And based on our testing and our research, one of the common, most common causes of something like late rise is stride length. In other words, if you have a short stride, there's not enough time to get your arm up. It's easier to have your arm down at foot touch. Whereas if we just take a player and give them the ability to get a bigger stride, there's more time for them to get their arm up. And a lot of times this goes away. So believe it or not, something like a late rise could have nothing to do with your arm and your shoulder. It could have something to do with something that's limiting your stride length. That could be ankle inversion or eversion or ankle range of motion. This could be flexibility between doing the splits or being able to do whatever it takes you to get to a bigger stride. Could be power off the back foot, not being able to drive hard enough. All of those things could lead to an upper body dysfunction, right? So we see this all the time. So don't be quick to jump and say, hey, this is just an upper body problem. Now, with that said, of course it could just be an upper body problem. But this is why we screen and assess it on base. That way we know where the problem is really coming from. Hope this helps you help some of your pitchers.